Pentagon sources the attacking U.S. warplanes dropped 100 tons of bombs on Tripoli and Benghazi and fired roughly 50 missiles. And officials called off the search for two crewmen of the one apparently downed U.S. Air Force bomber. Pentagon correspondent David Martin has been told that this was the same plane that may have been responsible for some of the civilian casualties. U.S. military sources today acknowledge that much of the damage done to a residential neighborhood in Tripoli apparently was caused by American bombs. These sources say there is evidence to suggest the damage was done by the one Air Force plane which did not return from Monday's raid. As the F-111 went in low over Tripoli, it was hit by ground fire. Pentagon sources say that may have knocked loose the plane's bombs or the pilot may have jettisoned them as he tried desperately to escape the fire. He never made it. We had a number of Navy pilots in the support package over the sea off Tripoli, and uh, I think three or four, I'm not quite sure, saw the fireball. The Pentagon still holds out the possibility that the damage was done by errant anti-aircraft missiles falling back to Earth. These scenes from Libyan TV show soldiers digging out what looks like a Soviet-made missile. Libyan TV also showed pictures of twisted metal bearing markings in English, but Air Force and Navy experts say whatever it is does not belong to them. Some of the U.S. jets did not drop their bombs because they could not get a clear fix on the target in the face of intense anti-aircraft fire. The British parliamentarian who represents the district where the F-111s are based was briefed today by the Air Force. Because of the nature of the SAM-3 missile fire, they aborted those missions rather than deliver their weapons because there would have been more civilian damage if they had uh, released. The U.S. Navy remains on patrol in the Mediterranean. Last night, Navy helicopters evacuated all but a skeleton crew from the U.S. Coast Guard station on the Italian island of Lampedusa, which was attacked, apparently by Libyan missiles, shortly after Monday's air raid. The Soviet Navy is shadowing the American fleet, but it is not doing the Libyans any good. A Pentagon source said Soviet radar picked up the incoming American planes when they were still one hour away from their targets, but did not relay any warning to the Libyans. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.